All right, in our hometown pride this weekend, we are celebrating the city of La Puente. Early bird Kirk Hawkins is up and at him this morning. He's got a look at the real estate market. What a cute Aww. little home that is, Kirk. Yeah. Tell us about it. It's it's just totally adorable, you guys. Welcome to Tonopah Avenue in La Puente. This is a new listing that just hit the market. Come on inside. Let's go on a little tour. So as you walk up the steps here, you walk into this really nice living area. In the time of Corona, you'll notice realtors provide some hand sanitizer, gloves, and even wipes. But anyway, over my shoulder, we've got a really nice recently renovated kitchen, spacious, lots of storage, a dishwasher. You've got a range and an oven. Now, uh, this is a three bedroom, two bath, roughly a thousand square foot home. Here's one of the beautifully appointed bedrooms. And it's on the market for you guys, uh, $560,000, roughly about $2,600, according to Redfin, with a traditional down payment. And one secret to every open house, too bad we don't have smell-o-vision. There's some amazing candles that you walk into with a really fantastic aroma. Now we step outside and you can see it's got a fantastic backyard, a really great patio covering, some bistro lights, and you can pretty much be here year round, even if you're out in the rain last week. So Apollo Andrade is the listing agent here. Thanks for joining us this morning. This home is so popular, you have 30 showings later today. And one thing you're noticing is that a lot of these buyers are releasing the appraisal contingency because the value of the home will go above the list price. That's correct. Yes, they're, off, they're very competitive, so most of the buyers are offering above asking between 20, 20 to 30,000 above the appraised value. Gotcha. And another thing that's interesting about La Puente real estate in particular, a lot of buyers that would be trying to get into Lincoln Heights, Boyle Heights, El Sereno, they're coming here because it's such a great place to be. That's correct. It's, it's as close as you could get to downtown LA oh, without the price of above that. No. Above you know what you would typically place. So this is a great place to get a, a discount, a great home to check out. If you'd like more information, Apollo has a Yelp you can check him out, Apollo Andrade, on Yelp there as you continue to get a tour of this home. Now, um, that's one thing that I mentioned, you guys. Pro tip, these candles are really great, really fantastic. And by the way, not too far away from here is a really great drive-in. And Mark, I don't know if you remember, but uh, wasn't the La Puente Mall featured in Back to the Future? <laughs> is that what it was? Was it oh, the really? La Puente Mall? Oh, really? With the cars, like, right so. there? Was it the There's a, there one, pi one pi Was it one pine, two pine, that one? Yeah, wasn't that wasn't that it? It was technically you're right. It was, so no, 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 no. That's a, no, no. It's actually, a thing in the movie. I guess what happened in the movie? It, it was called Twin Pine. Twin Pines Mall. But then the yes. car ran over one of the trees, so they switched it to One Pine. It's like a trick in the movie. Ah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the backdrop was the actual La Puente Mall. Oh. Okay. And that's not too far away from here, including a really great drive-in, too, I've been told. Ah, oh, I love drive-ins. Okay, hmm. cool. Yeah. All right. Kirk, what, what happened with those, uh, those donuts? Did you eat them? <laughs> you know what? They're still in the front seat of Chris Jarowski's car. I doubt it. So there's two. <laughs> you only had two. <laughs> Chris. That's Chris giving us a peace they're sign. Like, back. later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Kirk.